love bugs! It's Kitty once again, and I am here in the special location of the kitchen. Woo! More kitchen time! I'm sitting down on the floor, so do you know what you know what that means? It's not baking time, it is craft time! Today I am wearing a cute little pastel purple skirt with my unicorn onesie and uh, my favourite little um necklace. I can't remember who I got this from. A mystery box or somewhere. And a little bracelet that it came in a unicorn thing that said believe in your dreams and I loved it. And I also have, for company, Honey! The softest, cuddliest little unicorn in the world. She is so cute and I love her. Hmm. So, today's video, like I said, is a craft video, hence why we're in the kitchen so we don't make a mess of any other floor in the house because this one's easier to clean. We are going to be doing a long-awaited video of Paint by numbers. Paint by numbers. So yes, today we are going to be doing a paint by numbers and we are going to be doing this unicorn that's on the front thing here. See it? It is right here. Now, I have bought many paint by numbers little sets before and this is, and not to like, you know, say this is, this is like incredible or anything, but this is one, probably one of the best ones I've ever got. Because you get four pictures with it, you've got a dragon, a mermaid, and I think it's like a griffin or something. Um, they've given me two like sets of paints and the paintbrush is actually like really fancy and like really nice. So this is actually really good. I think this was literally like two pounds or something. Like it was from like home bargains. It was hardly anything. I got it absolutely ages ago because I love colour brown, colour brown numbers. And by default, paint by numbers. And I'm very excited because never they never normally have a purple in here and they're the purple. So I've got to figure out the colour guide which I'm hoping it's going to tell me on the back. Yes, it tells me on the back. The colour key. So one is red, two is yellow, three is blue, four is purple and five is green. Which why haven't they put it in that order on the paint? That would be so much easier. That's going to confuse me. But it's okay. So what we are going to do is we are going to do our usual floor view so you can see what I'm doing. Woo! Okay, welcome to the floor. I said that like once in my first crafty video in the kitchen, I think. And like so many of you all just commented like, welcome to the floor, so funny. And I was like, I didn't think it was that funny, but apparently guys loved welcome to the floor. So we are on the floor here. This is probably the best you're going to get of seeing what I'm doing. Sorry you can't see my face while I'm doing this, but I assume you want to see like the picture. So we are going to be starting and just starting this off. I think what we're going to do is open up all our paints first, which is always the hard part. Thank goodness they're not as hard to open as the other ones last time. If you watched my last, my last, I can't speak today. My last crafty video, we made a paint your own mobile, which was, I'm not going to say it was a disaster, but it definitely is probably one of the harder crafts I've ever done. Um, but yeah, the paints were always, the paints were really hard to open, but these ones open straight away, nice and easy. So we are going to start by colouring this little sun in the sky here. I have got a little pot of water. I've got some kitchen roll here to wipe it off. Let's go. Oh, this paintbrush is so nice. The paint's a little thin, but like I think that's probably why they've given me so much of it. Like they give me two paint pots. That's so good. I, I remember um, a few years ago, I wanted to get back into Colour by Numbers, but I was trying to do adult ones, you know, seem adult and sophisticated, but they're all about like mixing like colours and stuff and uh, I'm really bad at that so it didn't ever work out and I just ended up putting them like in the bin because <laughs> no one else wanted them and that was kind of sad so now this time I've gone for like a nice childish one and I'm very very excited. I also dipped way too much yellow on here. That's a pain. Like I said um, last time I did one of these, I'm just going to have a chat to you because um, this is kind of like a play date, I guess. Um, which by the way, I do know I do need to probably do another like themed play date. 
If you guys have any ideas, please just like leave them down in the comments because I really, I really enjoyed doing the Halloween one, but it didn't get, it didn't do that well like view wise. But I think it's probably just because the length of the video because I know a lot of people don't have like 40 minutes to watch a video. But like they take hours to film when I end up cutting them to like 40 minutes hoping that's like, you know, short enough and it's still like people won't watch it. It's kind of sad. But I do have some people who really like my Playdate ones. So um, if you are one of these people who really like my Playdate videos, please leave some like comments down below of what you'd like to do. I had an idea of doing one that's like a, um, like, um, a tea party sort of thing because I have it in my cute little unicorn tea set you would have seen in uh in my like baby day video I did a few weeks ago um so yeah that would be like uh, maybe like a cute little play date thing I've been thinking of doing like a, a point of view play date um where like the camera like moves as if, as if you're like actually here or more like doing stuff so I'm, I think that's going to be a really fun thing to do. It might be a little bit hard to do and I think I'm going to have to get Mama to like hold the camera for me and you know do all this stuff. But um, I think that'd be a really cute thing to do. I'm moving on to the stars by the way because I had too much yellow on my brush so I was just uh, distributing it out. I'm not very good at staying in the lines when I'm painting so uh, yeah I'm just doing anything that's that's got a two on it now because I've got too much yellow on my brush and I'm trying to use it all. I, I dipped it too good. Dipped it too good. Do you guys do this when you're doing colour by numbers? Do everything that's the same colour? I actually find that colour by numbers is my preferred like colouring thing because I get way too stressed if I if I don't know what colour to pick for something. And that sounds really stupid, I know, because like colouring's supposed to be like, oh it's so creative and stuff, but I'm just like, I don't know what colour this should be. Oh god, what colour should it be? I got a unicorn book, I think. I can't actually remember what it was. But I got some sort of colouring book that actually showed you what the picture should look like beside it. And um it's honestly the best thing in the entire world. It's so good for small time. I'm just having a fun little day. This is my nice little self-care day and I'm just doing some nice stuff. Because these are like my little activities and you know, I you know could be doing them on my own but I thought that I would share it with you guys so you can see me get paint on my hands apparently. Oh well. Okay, that is basically all the yellow off the brush. So, we're just gonna Give it a little swirl in the water. If you see my toes moving, by the way, I'm very sorry. I like to move my toes a lot. Like, it, it scares me sometimes when I'm just like, look at, see at the corner of my hand, I'm like, ah, oh, oh, it's my toe. I do it all the time. It's so stupid. <laughs> um, let's do, no, let's, let's keep doing, let's keep doing the yellow actually. Because like, I'm liking the yellow just now. Oh, the flower is supposed to be yellow on this bit do that. I'm just going to do like a little bit in each of these because I've got quite a lot on my brush again. I'm not very good at getting the right amount on. <laughs> uh, let's do this bit first. I was gonna like, I thought that like I'd wear my unicorn onesie and like coordinate my outfit to, you know, go with the unicorns and then I was like, what am I going to do for the dragon? I do actually have onesies coming that um, are to do with D&D, &D. like it's got a beholder and a little dragon and stuff on it, but they haven't arrived yet and um, I'm kind of worried they're lost in the post, but like that's a whole other matter. Um, I really hope they get here soon because normally onesies down under, although they ship from America, um, they're they're quite fast and they've got the, tr the, you know, the tracking on them. They just haven't updated in like 10 days, so I'm like, oh. But hopefully that arrives soon and maybe I can wear that dragon one if you guys want to see me paint the dragon one. Because like the dragon one seems really cool. Look at it. It's being an orange and cool. Red? Orange? Well, red, red I guess. Ready orange. I'm so bad at staying in the lines. And if you hear a weird noise, that's just my fridge making a noise because like I said, we're in the kitchen. Just having some kitchen time. Oh, that was too much paint again. Oh, well. I don't 
don't know why I like to pick each colour and then just go from there. I think because with painting especially, you've got like it, you know, on your brush and stuff, so let's just do it. The wings are yellow and red is, is one red. I need to check the colour guide. Yeah. Ooh. Oh no, I'm getting it everywhere. These are really nice though. See, I'd, leave, I'd go like, hey, tell me about your day and like leave a gap like we're doing like a point of view roleplay video thing. That sounds weird. Um, but I think that's just awkward, honestly. Um, not you guys will probably really care or understand, but any of you who like D&D like I do and you want to help develop your characters, you should really try uh, Ginny D and her like point of view roleplay videos. They are amazing, fantastic. I'm in love with them. I think I'm kind of just in love with everything that she does, honestly, because like, I, I did cosplay for like years and years and years. I never really made my own cosplay, but I was really into like, um, going to like cosplay groups and seeing everyone else's stuff. I had a friend who exclusively cosplayed as a Moogle from Final Fantasy, and now that Ash and Josie play Final Fantasy, I'm just like, that's a Moogle! That's all I know about Final Fantasy is a Moogle, because someone dressed up as a Moogle when I was a kid. But she has like all these like videos of like um like making your own cosplays and all this stuff and it's it's really good fun. Uh, she has a good channel. I understand this is a weird thing to be saying on the age regression channel, but like I feel like a lot of the time, like it's very much just like oh I like age regression. It's like what what else do you do outside of that? And I'm like I think we should probably you know you can you know you can do agery stuff. And you can also have a personality outside of that. I see a lot of like discourse, honestly, just like, oh, you know, you if you're an Adri page, you have to only talk about Adri. And I'm like, that's unrealistic. Because yeah, it's a big part of our lives and it's a big thing. And for a lot of people, they surround themselves with this ideals and you don't want to follow over people who age regress. But we're all people with other things. Like literally, those TikTok compilations of like, alternative age regressors who are like goth and emo and stuff are the most relatable thing to me. Not because I dress like that or I feel like that, but because I like... Yes, the cute pastel aesthetic is adorable, but there's more to me than my age regression, I guess? I don't know. Not to go on too much of a tangent or anything. I don't even need to do talky videos on my channel. They're all just in these random little bits here. Is that all the twos? Any more twos? I think we're done for the twos. Okay, that's all I can see just now, so we're gonna wash this off. Wipe it off on the thing. I, no, my God, I was so scared. I thought I just wiped it on honey there. Oh, let's get honey in the frame. Let's get honeys. There you go, you dear little face. There she is. She's in the frame now. <laughs> I hope that's not too scary that she's just over there now. Let's do the red. Oh, that was a lot of red. Oh well. Yeah, again, just gonna mark what's what. It kind of helps to kind of know. I wasn't very good with my staying in the line, so these are all gonna be a little bit weird. Okay, let's do this little flower down here. I'm trying so hard to be like, oh, look, an artist, but I'm not an artist. <laughs> but I'm doing it. Oh, this is, I was going to say this is incredible. I've not gone out the lines yet, but I definitely have. I feel like a little artist just painting away. I really hope you guys enjoy these things because like I said, these are just my uh, things that, you know, I've bought myself and got mystery boxes and everything. But, like, I love, I love crafts so much, but I always feel like I don't want to do them on my own, you know? Like, I understand crafting could, can be like a fun thing that you do on your own, but like, I, I make all my patties on my own and I do all of that stuff. So I thought, you know, we will just try and do some of this. <laughs> Sorry, I got too much red on my brush again. Oh man. 
It's going everywhere. <laughs> but I bet some people would make this look so nice and then there's just me just like going everywhere with it. I mean, hey, it's red. You guys didn't ask for much else but red. I really hope you guys do like this content. Honestly, if you do, please, please let me know in the comments because I like, I'm just kind of throwing stuff at you and like hoping you guys will comment if you like it because if you don't, I'm kind of like just basing it on views. So if it doesn't do well, then I probably won't do it again. And it really baffles me the whole kind of getting views on YouTube thing because like I'll do a mystery box and it'll get like a thousand views and I'll be like oh my god that's incredible but then I'll do another mystery box it's like I don't know like uh I'm trying to think for example like uh my dinosaur mystery box video has quite a lot of views and my first mystery box video from um Little Space Explorer has quite a lot of views but there's, I've done so many mystery box videos where they will get about 200 views and that's it. And I'm just like, am I using the wrong keywords? Am I? I don't understand it, honestly. Like, what I'm doing wrong. <laughs> I don't, or I don't know if it's just like you don't, you've seen enough um, mystery box videos and you don't want to see any more. So I understand there's a lot. I, um, <laughs> I kind of panic bought a few the other day. So I had so many that I was gonna, I was trying to do one a month. Well, one of them just wasn't working out for me, like, at all. So I was just like, okay, right, I'm just gonna, um, I'm just gonna do one every two weeks. As you've probably noticed, so I do a normal video and a mystery box video. And, uh, yeah, so it's just a lot of mystery boxes. But now I'm actually out of mystery boxes. I've not had one in a while, so I, um, I went a little bit crazy and ordered loads. Which you've probably seen a few of these. If you hadn't guessed, these don't get, um, I basically have an upload schedule about two months in advance. So what you, so when you guys see this, it's going to be ages away from when I'm actually filming it. Which, um, well, you know, <laughs> I hope you're all still here and I've not been, I don't know, cancelled for painting and talking too much or something. The internet's just like a wild culture. Cancel culture is like a wild thing. I don't want to really talk about it too much on here in a nice painting video. I nearly got paint on Honey, oh my god. Honey's going at the frame, I'm scared for her. Because she is a very nice white unicorn and I'm using red paint right now. And that's scary. Oh gosh, I just want to do it nicely. Okay, red. Oh, this is at the bottom. Okay. Do that there. And that bit is done. On to the next bit of tail. No, I hope this is good content. It's probably not. It's just me chatting to you. Maybe we should do like, I'd say maybe we should do like a Q&A while I chat, but like then I'd have to keep looking away and stuff. So, um, maybe not because I'm trying to paint. <laughs> But then, like, I feel like I personally get quite bored of montage videos. Like, I know some people absolutely love them as well, and I'm like, I love it, I'll just watch someone, like, I don't know, unbox stuff and do whatever, but I get quite bored if there's no, like, talking or interaction. Like, if I'm, like, you know, because I, I often will just colour and do my own thing and watch, like, um, kind of Adri YouTubers in the background sort of while I do stuff just for kind of background noise and just for something to watch. And if they're talking to me, then yeah, I can literally just concentrate on what I'm doing and just kind of have them talk talk about stuff. But if it's just like a montage, I have to keep looking up and I get really distracted from what I'm doing and it kind of like, it, it can pull me out a little face a little bit, which is kind of annoying, honestly. So I'm not really like a super big fan of like kind of montage videos. Like, don't get me wrong, I'm very excited to go watch some of the ones that I know have been up have been uploaded that I'm gonna watch a little bit later today. But like oh god, this this is just horrendous. I'm not doing good with staying in the lines, guys. I think I just prefer someone talking to me. And it's really sad because I really don't have many kind of 
YouTubers to watch who do Adri, and if they do, it's all, it's, it's very much a lot of just, um, a lot of montage -y stuff. As long as there's some talking, I'm normally good. Or even as long as all their videos aren't just montage -y stuff. Honestly, I want more just Adri hauls of just like, hello, this is what I bought at the shop. Because they're just so much fun. Because like, especially when it's not like people in the UK, I can see all the stuff that guys that you guys get in like America and Australia and stuff. It's just really exciting. Even just in the UK, I'm just like, where did they get that? I want it. <laughs> We're nearly done. Ah, no, we're near done. <laughs> I got excited for a second there. This is my thing. I like paint by numbers and I like all this stuff, but I'm also not very patient and I just want stuff to be over sometimes. So I'm just like, when will it end? When can I stop colouring? I'm going to be honest, guys. I'm still using a colouring book from Easter because it's just so cute. And like, yeah, it's got bunnies and it's Eastery, but also like, it's adorable. And I'm just like, I'm going to use this forever. But I've literally coloured like five pictures in there. And like, you know, it's been a while since Easter. <laughs> I just, I don't really have the like attention to sit in colour for ages. Like for some people it's really relaxing. I end up getting like kind of stressed out after a bit. A lot of the time I find myself, especially now, um, with my kind of little face, is I'll kind of colour and do stuff for a while and then I'll get like really tired and and just kind of just want to lie there and just kind of watch stuff. So I do, I just kind of get on the blanket and just kind of lie there and I'm like, okay, it's, it's time to chill and sleep a bit, I guess. Sometimes I just go for a nap and that's like great. I go for a nap for my passy and it's just great. What colour am I supposed to be doing the horse? Is it supposed to be white? Hmm. I do have some white paint left over from the other video, so hey, maybe that'll work out. Okay, right. That is all the red done. Uh, what colour shall we do next? Shall we do blue, number three? No, that's the whole sky. I don't want to do the sky yet. Let's do number four which is purple and oh my gosh it's such a beautiful purple look at it okay so this is purple this 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 is purple this is purple this is purple who is this 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 all of these little bits of purple little hooves of purple Ooh. I got a hair. I got a cat hair in there. <laughs> Chili's not even in the room causing issues. Of course he is. It's very, like, the red was very kind of, I don't want to say, what's the word? Not clumpy, thick. But this purple is just like so watery. I'm going to try to give it a mix up. Um, well, that's better. I know I'm trying to like, I'm doing like, I'm just swapping what I'm doing, but I'm trying to just like not get too much paint and like just make it a big swampy mess. I kind of wish I'd done art in school because that wouldn't go. Cool. I actually wanted to take art and drama, but they told me I had to pick one or the other. So I picked drama, which I got the best score in my year. So, hey, I'm decent at drama. Any aspiring movie makers out there want me in there. <laughs> Don't know why I said that. It's never gonna happen. I kind of wish I'd done art though because I really enjoyed like the creative thing of like making stuff. I'm just not very good at it but it's because I never like tried I guess. Growing up my uh my best friend she always was drawing and like she she never stopped literally she just had like her dad would just buy her like a, a big thing of like printer paper and she would just take it in her bag to school and just like draw in class and like it was her own little way of just like being creative and doing stuff and and she always used to like draw my characters for me um it's gonna be really embarrassing but when we were like seven or eight we both were really into sonic because uh, we both because i had sonic heroes and she'd come over to my house and we'd play it together um and we had Sonic OCs and you're like, oh god, Sonic OC, please no steal. 
ear and I had a really edgy hedgehog that was like shadow but he was like grey and silver instead which you're gonna say that's just silver silver didn't exist at this point um and he was called savage savage the hedgehog he was really edgy and uh yeah she she drew him for me and she draw all my like characters and stuff and he was just so cute Okay, this is going to take a while, so you know what? Since you guys, I know some of you love a montage, we're going to montage it. True, it's happening. Okay, so that took ages, but it is done. I'm so scared because it's still so wet with paint. Ta-da! Oh my gosh, it looks so cute. The purple just wasn't working with me. Like, honestly, there's blue paint all over the floor. I need to clean up. But that looks really cute, actually. And it's actually on not bad kind of, um, it's like the kind of card it's on, it's not on paper, so it's not like soaked through or anything, but oh my gosh, that just looks really cute. Um, there is a little blue dot in the middle of the horse where I put my finger to like hold the paper and I got blue on it, but hey, that's not bad. I think this is super cute. I'm going to like, I'd put it on the fridge, but jelly would knock it down. So, you know, are my hands paint free enough? Can I pick up? Yeah. Okay, well that 
was a lot of fun honestly. I'm really glad I got to do that with you guys. Um, I have a super exciting um, other one that I want to do which is sand art which sounds really exciting. I think you like glue it and then put sand over it. It's going to be so messy but if you want to see that please leave it down in the comments. Also I'm going to obviously do like a dragon maybe or the mermaid. I don't know what I'm going to do but I'm going to do more of these because these are so much fun. Um, if you have any like questions you want me to answer next time while we do this I can maybe write them down and like we can talk about some stuff more maybe next time. Who knows? Whatever you guys want. But this was a lot of fun and I had a lot of fun doing this unicorn. Well, until next time, I will see you all then. Bye!